We present now a special transcribed Christmas message from the President of the United States to the American people. My fellow countrymen, all over our country and in many other parts of the world, men, women, and children are preparing to celebrate the birthday of Christ. Never before in our lives has a Christmas seemed so important. I'm not thinking of turkey dinners and stacks of gifts. I mean the quiet, reverent celebration of faith, hope, and love born in a manger in Bethlehem. Across all the continents of this world, peace-loving people today feel apprehension and loneliness and fear. Many have forgotten the humble surroundings of the nativity and how from a straw-littered stable shone a light which for nearly 20 centuries has given men strength, comfort, and peace, peace of mind. At this Christmas time, we should renew our faith in God. We celebrate the hour in which God came to man. It is fitting that we should turn to him. Many of us are fortunate enough to celebrate Christmas at our own fireside. But there are many others who are away from their homes and loved ones on this day. Thousands of our boys are on the cold and dreary battlefield of Korea. But all of us at home, at war, wherever we may be, are within reach of God's love and power. We can all pray. All of us should pray. We should ask the fulfillment of God's will. We should ask for courage, for wisdom, for the quietness of soul which comes alone to them who place their lives in his hands. We should pray for a peace which is based on righteousness. The nation already is in the midst of a crusade of prayer. On the last Sunday of the old year, there will be special services devoted to a revival of faith in God. I call upon all of you to enlist in this common cause. I call upon you no matter what your spiritual allegiance may be. We're all joined in the fight against the tyranny of communism. Communism is godless. Democracy is the foundation of faith. Faith in oneself, faith in one's neighbors, faith in God. Democracy's most powerful weapon is not a gun, a tank, or a bomb. It is faith. Faith in the brotherhood and dignity of man under God. Let us pray at this Christmas time for the wisdom the humility, and the courage to carry on in this faith. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard President Truman's Christmas message to the American people. This is NBC, the National Broadcasting Company. In answer to many thousands of requests from its listeners, the National Broadcasting Company is happy to bring you Adventures in Time and Space, transcribed in future tense. Dimension X. This is the story of Riesling, the singer of the spaceways. You've probably sung his songs in school, in English, French, or German. The language doesn't matter but it was an earth tongue. But the real story of Riesling is not found in the footnotes of a scholar's critique or a publisher's biography. It is in the memories of the old-time spacemen, the pioneers who pushed the thundering old-fashioned rockets to the far strange ports that are our commonplace heritage. These men know the true story of Riesling. The arching sky is calling spacemen back to their trade. All hands stand by free, falling and the lights below us fade. Outride the sons of terror, far drives the thundering jet, up leaps the race of far and onward yeah. When I 
first met Riesling, he was hustling drinks in the Twin Moons Bar at Drywater, Mars. He'd won a guitar off a Chinese barkeep at Luna City by cheating at one thumb, and he made his whiskey by singing in the bar and passing the hat. Listen to her, Hudson. Don't she strum pretty? Like a 16-year-old gal. <laughs> Say, how much you collect on that last song? Three dollars, Marshal, and a slug. Al grabbed it from my bill. You don't trust me no more. Funny, never did have no luck with hound dogs nor Martian barking. Hey, Riesling, look over there by the bar. There's an Institute for Striper giving in the eye. Know him? <laughs> Captain Hicks off the goshawk. Are you sure giving you the once-over? <laughs> Maybe he's got a job. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make never no mind to me. I've been blacklisted. Hicks logged me for making up a song on watch. Right fine song, too. Now, hold it. Here comes the brass arm. Uh, Riesling, uh, I've been looking for you. I've been right here, Skipper. You saw to that. I need a jet man on the goshawk. Interesting. Real interesting. Well? I got news for you, Skipper. You blacklisted me, remember? Well, you kept your nose clean. And uh, we need an experienced man. Been a little changing down aft in the goshawk, ain't there, Skipper? How'd you know that? You got that new atomic pile drive. Last three of them tea kettles blew somewhere in the asteroids. Look, it's double pay, but if you're scared... Scared? Listen, fella. For double pay, I'd jump off the top of the Harriman Tower if you allowed me rubber heels for the land. All right, then. You show up tonight to sign the book. Sober. Got no choice, Skipper. Money and me is total strangers. We lift at 11.30 Mars time. Sober, you understand, Riesling? <laughs> you taking the job? Well, that goshawk is one stinking old tub. Her engine's got more bugs than a beagle dog in spring. And that new drive is about as safe as a pretty gal in the Ozarks. But I reckon she'll do for one more trip. Welcome home, Riesling. Hi, Jimmy Legs. Meet my friend Hertzman. He's signing on as a whopper. Whopper. This is Jimmy Legs Casey. <laughs> He's bosun. Can't hold his liquor no more than a sieve, poor boy. <laughs> Mr. Casey. Riesling, you uh, sober enough to sign the book? Drunk or sober, I'll make my mark. Stand aside. Uh, three X's. <laughs> Took me a middle name. <laughs> yeah, you two lay below. And Hertzman. Aye, sir. Get him sobered up before the skipper makes rounds. Jimmy Legs, I'm sober as a hanging judge. Yeah? Well, you can leave that bottle here. What bottle? The one in your back pocket. Oh, glass buttons, maybe. Huh? <laughs> Give it here. Jimmy Legs, I swear I'm going to write a song about you. Go ahead, threaten me. Now, get below. We raise ship in 30 minutes. Riesling, what the devil are you doing up here on the bridge without permission? Figured I'd take a little stroll. Riesling, get below no, before no, no, I have... Hold on, Skipper. You'll have that gold braid just crawling up your arm. I'm up here on business. Well? That number two jet ain't fit. Cadmium dampers are warped. Why tell me? Tell the chief engineer. I did. He says they'll hold. Well? He's wrong. He's wrong. He's got a Harriman Institute degree in power electronics. And some drunk space rat says he's wrong. Skipper, I was damping jets when that shirt tail tad wore pins for buttons. I've got no time for you, Riesling. Casey, sound takeoff. Aye, sir. I'm telling you, Skipper, that number two jet's gonna blow. Dampers walk crooked like a turtle's back. Riesling, drag your dead head out of here. Get below. Go ahead from the control tower, Captain. All right, Casey. Fire one and four. <laughs> blast for three watches before going into free flight. Riesling and I had the second watch. Damping was done by hand in those days with a multiplying vernier and a danger peeper. And as long as the peeper ticked off slow and steady, we knew the ship was safe for a while. Hey, Riesling, you better stole that guitar. If Jimmy Legs catches it, he'll blow a gasket. Don't worry, I could damp this tea kettle in my sleep. How's number two? Uh, all right, so far. Did you ever hear that song about Hicks, the one that got me blacklisted? 
Oh, the skipper is the father of his crew. A gentle guide and light to me and you. But on Mars he likes his women if they walk or if they're swimming or if they've got six arms instead of two. <laughs> hey, the, the second verse is better. Now the skipper likes his liquor by the quart. Yes, he'd go from Mars to Venus for a snort. He'll drink rocket fuel and... Well, hi, Skip. Didn't see you come in. You were too busy, eh? Who's watching the gauge? I got an eye on it. Don't you fret none. Riesling, I'm going to fix it so you can't get a berth on a rocket-powered pogo stick. Report to Casey under arrest. I don't rightly think I will. You what? You kind of forget, Skipper. According to space code, you can't remove a jetman till the end of the watch. Right? Now look, you corn-fed space now lawyer. Now, I... is that a rule or ain't it? Riesling, your ship is over at 2300. And I'll see you ride the rest of the way in slop locker. Maybe. Maybe. In the meantime, you clear out of my power room. I gotta make me up a third verse for my song. I got it. Power room. Damp number two appoint. Number two, all right. Hey, let me have that mic. Jimmy Legs, is that forced dry boil up there? Give me that, Casey. Riesling. I've taken just about enough from and you. And I've got a little news for you, Skipper. Number two jet is bulging like a fat lady in a satin skirt. Listen, you clown. That's Skipper, your... I think I'm going to junk my song and start over. I could do much better this on you. This is the last time, Riesling. Damp number two, a point. Why, uh, sure. Look out, Hurt. I'll take it. You watch the gauge. Now. I need to hear. She's bucking a little. Riesling, hit the emergency. Ah, she won't get him. It's that four. There go the lights. Riesling, Riesling. Stay down behind the back. I've got to take a look. It's radioactive. Look out. I've got a piece of hot stuff under the two. What's going on down there? Shut up, Jimmy Lee. She's tight now. What happened? Number two blew your lunk-headed space rat. You all right? A little sunburn. Uh, the lights are gone. Uh, what's the matter with the emergency circuits? Riesling. Jimmy Legs, get some lights down here. It's dark. Get the emergency light on. They're on, Riesling. They went on after the blast. The lights are on. What are you talking about? Jimmy Legs. Jimmy Legs, turn on the lights. It's dark. Turn on the lights. That blue radioactive glow from the jets was the last thing Riesling ever saw. His optic nerve was burned out in an instant. He was in sick bay on the rest of the trip, and on the swing back, we set Riesling down at dry water Mars. Look out for the cable, Riesling. Thanks, Hertzman. Hey, Riesling. That you, Jimmy Legs? Hold up a minute, will you? Oh, uh, Riesling. Jimmy man. Legs, I promised I'd write a song about you, didn't I? <laughs> sure, Riesling, sure. Can't seem to sing like I used to. Uh, look, Riesling, uh, the men up on the bridge feel kind of bad about this. Yeah? Why didn't they think of that when Riesling told them that damper was shot? Now, Hertzman, that's all over. Sure, sure, that's all forgotten. Riesling, let's, uh, let's get out of the twin moons before I vomit. Now, hold it, hold it. The skipper feels pretty bad about the whole thing, Riesling. Kind of late for that, Jimmy Lakes. Feeling sorry, don't hold no corn. The boys passed the hat. The skipper kicked in half a month's pay. Did he now? Then on principle, I suppose I ought to tell him to stuff it back up the jets. But you can't buy no drinking whiskey on principle. I'll take it. Here you are. Uh, I'll get it. Uh, I'll be seeing you recently. Sure, Jimmy Lee. Sure. Come on, Hertzman. Let's get that drink. That was all. Just another space bum who didn't have the good sense to finish before his luck ran out. 
Well, Riesling holed up at the Twin Moons till his money was gone. Then he hooked a ride on a crawler over to Marsopolis. It was a boom town then, with an industrial district mushrooming between the Lesser and Grand Canals. I ran into Riesling about two months later, playing his guitar on a jetty that ran out into the canal. He had a dirty rag tied over his eyes with a gentleman's knot, and his hat was on the wharf beside him. Riesling! Who's that? Wait a minute. Hertzman. Yeah, how have you been? Passable. Gee, is this a Venusian dime? Ah, it's a slug. <laughs> I figured. Well, how's it going? Singing again? Some. Work in saloons, mostly. But I've been thinking some funny songs, Hertzman. The words come out different than they used to. Come on along the canal with me. Sure. Uh, here, take my arm. I know the way. That's a funny thing, Hertzman. I figure I know it better than other folks. Look back there, t- towards the city. What do you see? Factory towers. Ah, smell them from here. But it don't seem that way to me. I remember them old buildings, old before Bible times on earth. Thin and graceful like... The fairy palaces my Grammy used to tell about down home in the hills. Well, they've torn them down now, or else blocked them up with cinder bricks. Hertzman, when I stand out out here on the canal, I can see it the way it used to be. The water, ice blue with the stars shining up out of it. Way off there, the city with the towers sweeping up like a bird of flying off a tree. I can see it. It's the dirtiest stinkhole in the system. Not always. Depends on how you see it. Bone tie the race that raised the towers Forgotten are their lords Long gone the gods who shed the tears That laughed these crystal shores Slow Time worn heart of Mars beneath this icy sky. The thin air whispers voicelessly that all who live must Why don't you go home, Riesling? Home? Earth. I've been thinking about that, Hertzman. When I was a youngster down in the Ozarks, I used to climb a big old oak tree my daddy had in the dooryard. You could see the hills for miles, green and cool. I've been thinking about that. Why don't you go back then? I couldn't see them hills no more now. I couldn't stand to see black when I knew they was lying all around me, cool and green in the sun. I couldn't stand that. Yeah. Well, let's get back to town, Hertzman. Today I made three and a half dollars mush, and I'm all set to drink it down before dawn. Come on! I lost track of Riesling after that. I shipped out on a slow freight of the Condor class for Luna, and he hitchhiked a ride to Venusburg on an ore ship in the Triplanet run. So he beat around the system, Venusburg to Layport to Drywater to New Shanghai and back. Any spaceport was his home, and no skipper had refused to lift the extra mass of Riesling and his battered guitar. He made up his songs, sitting out watches down in the power rooms with old shipmates, while the monotonous speed of the jet shook the hull plates. Hear the jet, hear the jet. Hear them snarl at your back when you're stretched on the rack. Hear, Hear the, the jets. jets. Feel the pain in your ship. Feel the strain in your grip. Hear the jets. Feel her rise, feel her drive. Strand steel come alive on her jets. On her jets. Little by little, his songs began to travel along the spaceways ahead of him. Raw spaceman songs with titles like since the pusher met my cousin and the spacesuit built for two. But more and more, we began to hear a different kind of song. Strange, sad songs, the ones you find printed in the centennial editions. 
dark star passing, death song of a woods cove, and then finally, the green hills of earth. It grew for 20 years, that song. They say it started way back when Riesling was down in the labor camps on Venus, singing for the indentured men. Now, if someone will kindly pass a bottle. Oh, it is not much, Riesling. Here. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is that stuff? Tequila. <laughs> you cannot make him good here on Venus. What do you use? Carag bush. A home it is... A home it is different. Where are you from, son? Tasco, Mexico. It's a long way from here. See, a long way. <laughs> How'd you come to sign on? The man comes out to the village from the city, in the shining automobile, very big. He says there is work. You sign the paper for 10 years and you work. Yeah, work. There is work here, all right. 10 stinking hours in the jungle with machete. I tell you, when I get home to earth. What'll you do, son? Ah, what is the use? We aren't getting home. You know how many men die out there in the swamp today? Ten men, ten! What is the use? My mother, she's dead. My father don't care. A girl? Oh, she, she says she wait. I, I don't know. Sure, son. You, uh, you sing some more, Easton. We drink, you sing. Maybe a new song, son. We ride in the molds of Venus, we regurgitated bread. Foul are her flooded jungles, are crawling with unclean dead. Let the... What is the matter? Finish the song, Riesling. I can't. Can't yet. It just don't come. I'll finish it when I go home. That's it. When I go home to the hills. Now pass that bottle. The dawn whistle don't blow for four hours. That's where the green hill started. And I was there when it was finished. It was 20 years after that. And there wasn't a man flying or on the beach hadn't heard of Riesling and his songs. He was getting old now for a spaceman. He was a familiar figure through the whole system. Tall, gaunt, and with that dirty bandage tied across his blind eyes. I was Chief Jetman then on the old Falcon. We were cradled at Venus Ellis Isle, scheduled for a direct jump to Great Lakes, Illinois, on Earth. I was checking in Dunnage when Riesling felt his way up the gangway and came through the lock. Riesling! Who's that? Mike Hertzman! 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 Well, what are you doing on this old hog? I figured I'd ride her back to Earth. Earth? Are you going home, Riesling? I thought you were never going to make that run. I've been hankering to set foot in the Ozarks again. How about those hills? I've been singing about them so long now, Hertzman. I, I got to finish the song. I got to set foot in the dooryard and hear the wind through that oak tree. About the last thing I'll be doing, I got to get home before... It... Riesling, there's a new company policy. In you see, now. Hertzman, I'm getting just a little old. But Riesling, listen. No more deadhead rides. The new code book is in force. Oh, I've seen code books come and go. The skipper's one of them youngsters fresh out of Harriman Institute cadet training. He's liable to throw the book at you. At me? I've been around space as long as Halley's Comet and Brewster's Ridge. I'm going back to Earth, the cool green hills of Earth. I'm going home. All secured, Hertzman. What are you doing here? That's Riesling, Captain. Riesling, huh? I'm dragging it back to Earth, Captain. Not in this ship. Hertzman, have this man removed. Funny thing, Captain, I... Uh, I've sprained my shoulder sudden. Look, Skipper, you're a youngster. You're, you're pretty new out here. I'm going home. You don't know what that means to an old man, going home. I can't take you. It's against the Harriman Code. Oh, now, look, Skipper, you can slide me by out of the distressed spaceman's clause in that code book. Distressed spaceman, my eye. You've been bumming around the system for 30 years. Skipper, you make me do something I've never done for no one before. I'm an old man, an old blind man, and I want to go home. I ain't never crawled in front of a four-striper in my life, but you got to let me drag home. The law says a man's got a trip coming to him. You can stretch for a poor old blind man, can't you? You got it, Skipper. All right, you old 
old space rat. But keep out of the way. I run an efficient ship, and I don't want any trouble. No, sir. No, sir. No trouble. I'll just lay down to the power room. I kind of like to be near the jets when they blast off for Earth. Sit down, Riesling. Take a load off your feet. Thanks, Mick. Stand by for lift. Stand by. Best seat in the system. Power room and an old hawk glass ship. Power room, fire three. I see. <laughs> Green hills of Earth. Still singing that recently? Oh, some. I changed her a little. Going to finish her now, Mac. Going home to finish her. Yeah. Have you seen those new uh, automatic dampers, Riesley? Don't have to do nothing but sit and watch. Hey, where, where's the peeper? Turned off. She's all automatic. And you have it soft nowadays. When I was twisting her tail, you had to stay awake. You got an old hand damping plates on? All but the links. I unshipped them. They cover up the dials. You might need them. No, the automatics handle everything. Well, you're finally going home, Riesley, huh? Won't seem the same out past the moon. I've been waiting for this a long time, man. Gonna be good to get home, I reckon. The arching sky is calling spacemen back. Hey, ah! Mac. Mac, Mac, you all right? I, I, I got the emergency. The hand dampers, where are the links? Mac. Hey, you to be on the wall here, some. Hey, hey. I got him. Power room, what's the alarm? Emergency squad coming in. Stay out, the place is hot. Radiation blast. Stay behind the baffle. I got the link shift. I, I can hand damper now. What's going on in there? I'm still in jet three. Is this McDougal? McDougal is dead. This is Riesling on watch. Riesling, get out of there. You'll kill yourself. Don't worry, Skipper. I know this power room like the inside of my shirt. Somebody's got a damper. Riesling, I'm sending in a crew. No, 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 no use. The whole room will be hot for an hour and the other jets won't hold. Skipper, throw on the recording tape. What? Throw on the recording tape. I want to get something down. Tape's on, Riesling. Stop it, Riesling. The radiation will burn you down. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, pretty sharp sunburn. Pick me out of here with a dog. Bury me in a lead shield coffin. <laughs> Okay, Skip. She's clean. Uh, radiation's getting brighter. I can almost see. Bright, rosy like the sun. Like the sun over the hills down home. I got my song figured right now. Here it comes. We pray for one last landing on the globe that gave us birth. Let us rest our eyes on the fleecy skies of the cool green hills of Earth. I can see them now. The hills. The sun. I can see the sun. That's the way he died. Riesling. The blind singer of the spaceways, singing of the home he never reached, the cool green hills of Earth. Next week, we bring you another story many of you have requested that we repeat. It's the strange tale of man's first visit to another planet, and why he decides that Mars is heaven. Be with us at this same time next week for another adventure into the unknown world of... Dimension X. This program was transcribed. Now Dynamic Tallulah Bankhead brings you the big show on NBC. Mm.